Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be demoing non-destructive editing in GIMP 3.0. I can't believe I'm saying that. Yes, it is finally here. We can now add filters and effects and adjustments to photos inside of GIMP 3.0. We can go back later on either in a new session or during our current session and make tweaks to any sort of adjustments or effects we add pretty much to our image here. So first of all, you're gonna find it down here. You'll see in the layers panel, we have this FX icon. And right now I already have some adjustments made to this photo. So that's why I can see the effects icon here. And if I click on this, you'll see exactly what adjustments I have here on my image layer. So I already have a saturation adjustment, which is a gaggle filter, hence the little G icon. We have a curves tool adjustment and we have a shadows highlights adjustment. More on this little dialogue momentarily. First off, let me demonstrate if I wanted to add another adjustment or filter to this, I can go to colors, for example, which is commonly where you'll find a lot of adjustments. And let's just go to color temperature here. This is a nice easy one. And we have the new GTK sliders here and the new mouse icon when I hover over it. I don't love it, but that's okay. Uh, but let's say we wanted to warm this image up a little bit, turn up the intended temperature and click OK. So now that new adjustment has been added here to the effects icon or to this little popover menu. So you can see right here, color temperature, new filters or effects as they are added are going to get placed at the top of the stacking order here of the effects. You can change the stacking order using the arrows and it does change the look of your image slightly. So for example, if I click on shadows highlights and I just raise this up above curves, you're gonna see my image is going to adjust slightly there and now it looks a little bit different. So keep that in mind as you're working with non-destructive editing in GIMP 3.0 or newer. The order of the effects does matter, but thankfully you can play around with the order. So I'm just gonna bring that back down in the layer stacking order or the effect stacking order, I guess we're gonna call it now. So let's say we wanted to make an adjustment to this. What you can do is either double click on the effect you wanna make an adjustment to or click on it to select it and then come over here, you'll see it says edit the selected filter. And now we have brought back up our curves dialog here and you'll see all the adjustments I made prior to starting this video. And so now I can just go back and tweak the adjustments here. Let's just say as I add new effects, I realize I don't really like certain aspects of the original adjustments I made. Let's go down here to the green channel. Actually, no, let's go to a better one, the blue channel and make an adjustment here. And then we say, okay, that looks better. Let's just do a split preview to see a before and after there. You can always adjust where the actual split happens. And I'll click okay because I'm happy with it. And coming back to effects, our curves effect adjustment there, our update is going to be applied here to the curves effect inside the layer effects. Non-destructive effects don't just apply to adjustments. These are all adjustments right here. I can also add an effect. So let's go to filters, enhance, sharpen, unsharp mask. This is very popular for sharpening your photo. And let's change the amount to four and hit the enter key. That's a little too much. Let's turn the radius down to 2.5 and let's actually reduce this to three and click OK. So now coming back here to effects, you'll see sharpen unsharp mask is added here. I can show or hide this to see a sort of before and after and I can do that with any of these filters. So let's see what this looks like without the curves. And of course, I can double click on this if I wanna edit it and let's just say we make the adjustment to 2.75, hit the enter key. That looks better, so I'll click OK, and now our effect is updated. So if you wanted to show or hide all of the filters, you can click this little icon here. So here's a before, here is an after, and it does seem to take a second here with GIMP 3.0, but now the filters are turned back on. If you wanted to make your effects destructive, so you wanted to merge them all onto the image for some reason, maybe your performance is too slow on your computer, you can click this merge all active filters down button, and that's gonna merge everything directly on your image, and now you'll see that little effects icon disappears. So let me just hit Control Z to back up. And let's click the effects icon once again. You can also delete your effects using the remove the selected filter icon. So just click that X and whatever filter you have selected will disappear. So I'll hit control Z to add that back 
I cannot stress how much better this workflow is than the old workflow. Before, anytime you added some kind of adjustment to an image in GIMP, once you added it, it was merged onto the image. In order to go back, you either had to hit Control Z or basically start over. You couldn't rearrange filters. The order you applied them was the order you applied them. This is so much better. I mean, just looking at this photo here, I'm able to make it a lot better because I can just go in and make small tweaks to things at any point and it just really allows you to dial in your edits and make more nuanced edits. This is a huge feature in GIMP, big reason why everybody's been waiting for it, but guess what? It's officially here. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.